Hello there minions, it's Wheezy again. Today, I wanna to talk to you about the battle rifle in Halo Infinite, one of my favorite weapons in the game, a weapon that I think you need to be more familiar with so you can use it effectively, know when to use it, and also know when not to use it. Let's go talk about it. Okay, so let's get right into talking about what you can do to get better with the battle rifle. Now, the most important thing to know about the BR is that it is a four burst kill. If you get three bursts to the body and one burst to the head on a fully shielded enemy, then it will kill them. But one thing to note about this is after the third burst, you're not going to see the shields pop. Uh, before you get that fourth headshot. So you need to really understand the pacing and the timing of the BR so that you can focus on getting those three ch body shots and then that one headshot to get that faster kill. Otherwise, you may end up putting in four body shots before you see the shields pop and then taking that fifth shot to get the kill and that just costs you extra time. Without a headshot, it takes seven or eight bursts to kill someone. It'll take about four to pop their shields and then another three to four to kill them. So it is extremely important with the BR to make sure you're landing those headshots. So after you get that third burst into them, make sure you take an extra second, an extra heartbeat, whatever it takes for you to adjust your aim so that you can really make sure you nail that last headshot. So at medium to longer ranges, um, you may not, that fourth headshot may not land all the bullets, so you may not get that fourth burst kill every single time. But after that third burst, if you felt like you got three solid bursts on your enemy, everything after that ought to be a headshot. Even if the next one doesn't kill them, make sure that after three bursts, you're going for headshots. It'll just be a lot better at, at helping you get faster kills. And with the BR, especially in like ranked modes where most people start off, well, everyone starts off with a BR. Most people will just have the BR most lives. Making sure you nail that four shot kill is gonna be critical to having success. Something else to keep in mind is that when a player's shields are already broken, the BR is an automatic one shot headshot. So if you're fighting and you come around a corner, you see uh, a teammate fighting an enemy and you notice that the enemy's shields are already broken, make sure you go for that headshot right out of the gate because you will get that instant kill. It is extremely valuable and the most critical thing about using the BR. Now, when you're at close and medium range with the battle rifle, I would recommend that you don't aim down the sights. There's a scope on this thing, which makes it decent at longer ranges, medium to long range, um, even though the burst does spread a bit at that range. Um, but at close range, it's gonna do two things. One, it's gonna limit your ability to track the target because you're aimed down sights. And two is whenever you get hit, which if you're in a close, close range fight, you will get shot. Um, it will pop you out of ADS, which for me at least is very confusing, very discombobulating. It, it, is, it is jarring. So when you're at close and medium range, don't aim down sights. You can get up to a decent medium range. Hip firing, you can get a, a good four burst kill uh, just fine. At longer ranges, go ahead and use ADS. It, I, it feels like it'll tighten up your spread a little bit. It'll at least make your shots more consistent. So at longer ranges, you're gonna wanna use that scope basically until you get hit. And then once you get popped out of scope, you can either try to re-engage, which if you, depending on what the weapon the other person has, may not be the smartest idea. Um, so you can try and maybe get a couple of, of hip shots <laughs> at longer range or try to scope back in. Or you can choose to disengage if maybe you needed that advantage of range for the BR. And then now that you've lost that, that opportunity of surprise, maybe just disengage and re-engage from a different location. Another thing to keep in mind with the BR is you want to try and use high ground as much as possible. Since the core of the four burst is three to the body, one to the head, if you're below someone, then you can see less of their body and it's going to make that four burst kill a lot harder to get. And you may end up to the point where you're relying entirely on headshots. And the burst on the BR is pretty tight, but with a headshot, it's still not entirely uh, reliable that all three bullets are going to hit so even though three to the body one to the head is a pretty reliable 
in, like kill, four burst kill with the BR. Four shots straight at the head is less so because more of those bullets are going to miss uh, around the smaller target of the head. So try to use high ground. It'll give you a, a better opportunity to get that reliable four burst kill. The other part of this is try not to rely on the BR in close range. Even the, uh, the AR, even the assault rifle is better at close range. So keep that in mind, especially in core modes, uh, you know, you want to go and pick up a battle rifle, but keep in mind that it is not ideal for close range. Now, in ranked modes, you'll encounter BRs at close range more often just because everybody starts with them. But even in ranked, if you can find a better close range weapon, you will end up winning more fights. The BR can hold its own in close range, and if your shot is just right on, then you can get that four burst up close, but it, I'm telling you, it's harder, it's less reliable, and if you come up against somebody with even an AR, or if they have um, like a bulldog or a needler, you're just gonna not be able to rely on the battle rifle in that close range environment. Now in unranked, you're not going to start with the BR, so keep, I would recommend, because I think the BR is such a versatile and such a powerful weapon, that it's a good idea to know where they spawn, to get used to the locations where they spawn, and to go and pick them up, go out of your way to go get one, because I think it will help you get better engagements, get better kills at medium to longer ranges. But make sure you also keep a close range weapon. So for me, if I'm running the normal AR pistol and I go to get a BR, I'll drop my pistol for the BR because I consider the pistol more of a longer range weapon too, just because it needs the more precision. And then I keep the AR for close range, unless I find another close range weapon like a needler or a bulldog, and in which case I'll drop the AR for a better close range weapon. So for me personally, I like to keep a longer range weapon and a closer range weapon. The BR is an excellent weapon to, to fill that slot for longer range. And in fact, the only thing that I would reliably replace the BR with for longer range engagements is the sniper rifle. Um, so just keep that in mind. The BR is powerful, it's versatile, but don't, don't think too highly of it and use it in situations that it's not really tailored to. So the last thing that I'm gonna tell you about the BR is if you aren't good with it, because you know, it requires some precision, it requires some skill, you gotta get the pacing down, you gotta make sure you can nail those headshots. If you're not comfortable with the battle rifle and you're not very good with it, get good with it. I gotta, I'm telling you, it will pay off. You may not feel comfortable with it right now, but when you see it, pick it up and use it you, you will eventually get good with it just by practice, so don't avoid it because you think, oh, I'm not very good with that, I'll stick with something that I'm better with, something more automatic, something more forgiving. If you want more success, you want to have more fun playing Halo, pick up the battle rifle, learn to use it. If necessary, go into the training range, go into the firing range, um, and run the weapon drills with the battle rifle so you can get some more practice with it outside of a competitive environment. That is helpful too. But I'm telling you, you will be happy if you go and pick up the BR more often. Get used to using it, get better with it, get those four burst kills. There's very little in this game that is more satisfying than getting a good four burst kill with a BR. Fantastic showcase of skill. Okay, minions, that was all the help that I have to give you about getting better with the Halo Infinite Battle Rifle. I hope you guys take the time to learn how to use it effectively. I really think it's gonna add a lot to your enjoyment and your ability to do well in Halo Infinite. If you guys found this information helpful, leave me a like. If you guys have information that I didn't cover here, leave that in the comments down below. Let me know if I missed something. Let me know if you like it, don't like the BR. What do you think? Subscribe if you want more stuff like this and you're not already a minion. And I will see you guys in the next one.